everyone welcome to my channel I'm Leslie and today we're in my home decor store storage room where I'm going to bring you a very large haul so I've got my gingerbread pajamas on complete with my gingerbread earrings I'm hiding a boo-boo that's on my head so I'm wearing a hat today let's get started because it's a big one let's go all right, the first store we're going to go to is um, Christmas Tree Shop because I have two of the biggest items there. So I've been on the hunt for something specific and Duke, no sir, both animals are in here. We're going to get interrupted. That's just how it's going to go. Um, I was hunting for specific items, which I found pretty much most of them and I found some things I wasn't looking for but couldn't couldn't leave the store without them so we'll start with the small items I should take all of this out of the bag before starting filming so I got three holders one large two small and these are good for holding up things like remember I had my two ghost plates layered and just kind of leaning and praying that they didn't didn't budge so things like this will be good for holding up that type of decor and we're gonna have these holes I've got to sand it but I've patched Taking down all of the shelves, patch the holes, got to sand them, make sure they're good. Will I paint the wall? Probably not because I'm going to have three shelves on here, on this wall, that will house my decor. So, alright, the second item from Christmas Tree Shop, also called the And That Store, was a large item. I had a coupon for 20% off. That was good. I think they had these last year and I wanted one. And this year I said, you know what? I'm getting it. It is a two foot tall Letters to Santa mailbox that opens. You place the letters in here. You open it at the bottom and get all the letters out. It's adorable. It was like $60, so with my coupon, I got it for under $50, so I thought that was a good deal. All right, set that to the side. Um, I have one more thing from there. I'm going to go over there and grab it. So I've been hitting the local Dollar Generals in my area for the past few weeks, waiting for them to put out their decor, and um, I haven't seen it yet, but if I see it come out, I'll take this back and get, get it. What I'm looking for, as I've said before, I do a uh, Christmas tree farm in my living room area, and so I'm looking for um, a, a nice size print that I can put up under my TV because right now I have that barn picture that I have up under my TV and that just hides the cords. That's the reason why I have it there. So I found this. And it was... I believe, uh, yeah, 19, 1999. And it will do, but it's not what I'm looking for. I'm actually looking for the Dollar General canvas of nothing but snowy, 
pine trees, all different sizes and things. So I'll hold on to this until I find what I'm looking for and then I'll take it back. <laughs> but this is my backup in case I don't find it. I started off this morning by going to Hobby Lobby. Um, the other night when I was talking about doing my Christmas tree, I thought, I want to do a neutral gingerbread Christmas tree this year. That means I have to start all over. So I need to find the cheapest, best options that I can find to make it look like a very nice, elegant, yet fun, whimsical tree. So I found the ribbon that I wanted and it's at Hobby Lobby. It is this brown velvet, uh, let me put my readers on, because I can't see. It's by the Ribbon Boutique. It was $5. It was not on sale that I know of. I'd have to check my receipt, but I don't think it was on sale this week. But I didn't mind. There were three, I think three rolls. I got two. Did I get two? Yeah, I got two. So, this is over in the sewing section. And they actually call it copper. But I feel like this color can work very well with gingerbread. So, I got this. Then I wanted a sugary look to go with it, but yet elegant. So, I picked up this frosted ivory. I don't know if the camera is picking it up. I can't see but it's like a frosted ivory there we go there we go so yeah it's just got that frosted look to it and it's ivory and it just goes well with that brown okay besides that I went to Christmas tree shop looking for a uh, patterned um, ribbon that I had gotten last year and it's just simply wire covered in like pipe cleaner type of material fuzz. Um, did not see it at the Christmas tree shop. I found it somewhere else and we'll get to that. So like I said I got two of these and one of these and for $9.99 I picked up this it's like a big package of marshmallows fake marshmallows so I plan on creating decor with these um, it'll be a craft we will do together and I want to make some cute little marshmallows to pop on a tiered tray or on my cocoa bar, whatever. So I bought those. I'm going to leave this ribbon out so I can show you what it's like next to the other one that I got. I also went ahead, because they're only $6 in some sense, I picked up a second one of these so I could have one at the front door and one at the back door. Um, fall is 66% off. I do a scarecrow theme in my kitchen. So I picked up these cute little scarecrows. It came to like, I don't know, $2.50, $3, which meant they were a dollar a piece. That was fair enough for me. Then, that was not a planned purchase. This was a planned purchase. These are $1.99 for two. And they're just ceramic ornaments, three and a half inches high. And you get two of them in a package for $1.99. And Christmas is 50% off, so you're actually paying a dollar. So I got one, two, three, 
four packs of these that we will do a craft together and I will paint these um, for them to be on to go on my tree so two four six I've got eight of these hi kitten you want to say hello yeah, hello I'm a beautiful lion that dog's work and the dog is having a fit because I got some attention All right All right, so now I'm going to go grab Target because, yeah, I'm going to go grab that and we'll talk about that problem. And one more thing I got at Hobby Lobby. I also picked up one of these picks. They were 50% off, so they were $6, but they match well with the brown ribbon. the cream ribbon and they match well with this pick that I picked up the last time I was there. So these are the colors I'm going for on my tree. It's just going to be very neutral like champagnes, browns, creams, um, things like that. So I picked that that up and there is going to be some white in there as well because that will be the icing so we'll get to that okay so i was watching paradise point and she was um I, this was last night i was in my pajamas i was determined i wasn't going out because i hadn't been feeling good and I was going to just watch some YouTube till 9 o'clock, and that was it. Just going to have a nice night at home and do nothing and just let my body, you know, heal. Oh, no. Didn't even make it through her whole cocoa bar decorate with me, and I just was like, flipped off the TV, changed my clothes, ran out to Target because I... I know Target has these items. They've had them for the last two years, and I've missed out both times. And I'm just determined I'm not missing out. Duke, stop. And I'm just determined that this year I'm not missing out. So I went to Target last night. And... I, I, okay, let's just, let's just act like it's normal. Okay, so, I got the Santa, right? Five dollars, got him. Got the jolly old St. Nicholas, five dollars. Got... Two packs of the Jet Puffed Super Mini Micro Mini Marshmallows for my cocoa bar. That's turned out to be quite difficult. And I decided I'm not missing out this year because I did the first year. Last year I was able to pick the, the gingerbread design up. But this is this year's gingerbread cup at Target for five dollars so I picked him up he'll be good to go through the winter with that blue and this one I got super excited about because this is another item that I've missed for the past two years and I finally finally got it it's the gingerbread house mug so Really excited about that. I was going through the uh, dollar spot because I went in there looking for one specific thing. And you see I picked up pillows and marshmallows. and Well, they're doing much better with their stocking because... <laughs> few things. Oh, I got some good stuff, y'all. I got some good stuff. I 
if don't break it. All right, let's just go through this. All right, so going through the dollar spot, you know, I was getting getting sad because I was finding all kinds of cute things because they put out new things, but I wasn't finding what I was looking for. So I just started throwing other things in my basket saying, well, if I can't spend my money on that, I'm going to spend my money on something else. So I got a little stamp to and from for a dollar. Do not open until December 25th for a dollar. The reason why I got this is because this year I am going to wrap my gifts in craft paper and use tool or ribbon or whatever and tie them up and then just stamp, excuse me sir, and then just stamp my little to from on there. Is there a problem sir? Let me see what he's upset about. Over where my barn is right now, um, I usually hang a, uh, like a North Pole post box where I have my mailbox now, and I've been seeing mailboxes all over, and apparently I'm addicted to them. So, that whole area will be done in, like, North Pole post office, but... My front porch is also going to be like the front of Mrs. Claus's bakery with the um, mailbox. And um, had it less than 24 hours. Well, let's not ruin it. Um, for three dollars, I picked up this. And I just think if I, you know, stuff it with some newspapers or whatever and put it, lean it up against that box, y'all, can't stand it, darling. Love it. Okay. <laughs> then, um, another addiction, risers. You need risers when you're decorating because they, everything can't be on the same level. You got to have dimension and depth and interest and texture and yeah so they had some white risers it's a two pack for five dollars snatched it up snatched it up uh these were i think that says three dollars perhaps Thought they looked like gingerbread with a little frosted top. And they'll go somewhere in my villages. Got this precious little thing for $5. Because I thought I could stuff these smaller versions and place them in here. And kind of, you know, have it look like. They're bringing mail to the North Pole, but I can't take it. It's so cute. So I got two of these for a dollar a piece. Gonna stuff them and cut them and put them on. It's gonna be so cute. All right. This I got because I have issues, and it was darling. It was three dollars, but literally, but okay. Oh, but there's more for the winter time. Look at those. They have little mittens on them. Adorable. So I got those. They were $3 a piece. Then I picked this up because I was sad. I was not finding what I wanted. This was $5. And it says Cocoa Bar. And it's open. So like jars can fit in there. You know, you have a lot of room to 
put whatever you want in there. Fantastic. That's nice. Well, let's see what else we got. So, you know, I'm looking at my toilet paper and my sleighs and my little bags and designing in my head and sad with a basket full of stuff that I'm not finding what I'm looking for. And then I just happened to look down and see the only ones in the store. And I grabbed every single one of them. This, my friends, is what I've been in search of for like three years. Okay? Don't really know where they're all going to go, you know, whatever. We'll figure it out. But I've been wanting them. Milk and Cookie Company, adorable. We can, we can put, you know... You know, stuff for the cocoa bar in there. Yep. Uh, I don't even know. Don't even have plans. Don't know yet. But I got it. Okay? Five dollars. Then, Mrs. Claus's Bakery. This will definitely be in the kitchen. Might be by the coffee bar. I don't know. Anyway, got that. Has the little... Okay. And this one, I know where this one's going. This one's going in the living room. And I'm going to take a bunch of those little trees and put them in here. And it will be a Christmas tree farm. Oh, yeah. I got that one. So... Finally got what I was looking for. I don't need to go back to Target. Sitting there today. Hobby Lobby. Target's right there. I'm like, well, let me just check. Let me just see if they have anything I want. I'm going through the house. Mm, no. I have that. Mm, no, I don't need that. Oh, wow. They don't have very much Christmas out. And... <laughs> And then I saw this, and I said to him, yes, for $5, yes, you're coming home with me immediately. Okay. $5. What? What $5? What? Target dollar spot, five dollars. Run and get you some. Okay. All right. So after the Target, I went down to Michaels because I knew that they had what I was looking for, and I was picking up too much stuff that I did not need. Slash, I did need. Anyway. I went over to Michael's, and um, I couldn't find it at Christmas Tree. I found this last year, and I know I have some with my ribbons, but I thought, let me just pick up some more in case, you know, I want to have a more of an emphasis of it. So, we have the brown, the cream, right, the frosting. I mean, the glittery sugar. Then we have this, which will serve as like a frosting. So these are the three colors of ribbon that I will use on my tree this year. So it's like gingerbread, the sugar, and the frosting. Okay? So that was a good find. That was like, um, can you see, but I think it was like five bucks and I got two of them. And this is what I went for. They have, uh, right now, Michaels has buy one, get one free. These are $2.99 a piece. They're made of wood. 
So I got one, two, three, four, five, six of these for twelve dollars. Nope. Six. Seven. <laughs> eight of these. Okay, I got eight of them. I got eight of these. We will paint these together. They'll be boys and girl gingerbreads, very neutral, brown and white. Okay. Um, so I picked those up. That would be a DIY we'll do. I saw these. I didn't see these when I was looking online, but I saw these in the store. And I don't know if I'm going to glue, um, you know, an ornament hanger to it or if I'm going to place these in my cloche, you know, to make it look like I've got some gingerbread cookies. Not sure yet. Got two of those. Adorable. Okay. And I have one more thing at Michael's that I'm looking for that I have not found yet. I went to two Michael's today, and I found everything but one item that I'm looking for. The other thing that I got from Michael's was this. These were $1.99 a piece. Buy one, get one free. So for two, for $2, makes them a dollar a piece. I got two... Six, eight, I think I got eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Got eight of them. Another craft that we will do, again, going to be very neutral with these. These look like they're all boys, too. So I might make my other eight all girls. We'll see. They might be a little plump girl. But anyway, all of that little swirly eyes and things we'll just do with white paint. The rest will either be done with my stain or with a water base, a watery, watered down paint, which kind of makes a stain. So we'll do that. And if you would like to craft tomorrow, if you would like for me to start my crafting tomorrow, let me know. Um, we can, you know, do one of each of those together so you can see the different ways of doing it. Also, tomorrow I plan on setting up just my dining room area in Thanksgiving because November 1st I need to get on Christmas because I've got a lot of spaces. <laughs> my decor keeps growing. i got to figure out where everything's going. Yeah. So... Tomorrow will be Thanksgiving tablescape and dining area, and we can start a craft if you would like. Let me know in the comments, and I can certainly do that. All right, on to the dollar store. So, I went to the dollar store to see if they had any uh, gingerbread, wooden gingerbreads, because people go through and they just wipe them out of anything gingerbread because it's the best price in town, so they think, till you go to Michael's and you get it for a dollar. So I picked up some needs, actually. These are my pill holders that I use. Mine are about, they're probably about two years old. The writing has gone off of it. I could take my Cricut and do, we're not, just replace, get her done. There's that. I got two packs of these because I would like to run lights um, underneath my cabinets this year. And so I figured I could just put these up on the cabinets where they can stay year round and I can do other garlands or whatever I want to. So I got two packs of those. I picked up this. It's like a five pack of felt gingerbread men. And it comes with all the things to make them. I was thinking about just getting puffy paint and painting on, you know, with white puffy paint. 
but I didn't know if that was going to cheapen the look of my tree. So I didn't get the large one because I thought, you know, that might make it start to look cheap and that's not really what I wanted to do. I wanted to have elegant yet fun. So tell me in the comments below if you think this will look all right to add to the tree with the wooden and the ceramic ornaments with just white puffy paint on it. You think that would cheapen it? Do you think it would look okay? What do you think? Let me know. Chris, uh, living room, Christmas trees. Thought this was the best looking sign I've seen for $1.25 in my life. So it's perfect because I want my I want my whole downstairs to be centered around the North Pole. Like you're at the North Pole, you walk in, before you walk in, you drop your letter for Santa, you come into Mrs. Claus's bakery, you go down Santa's lane, and you enter the tree farm where the North Pole and Santa's family and elves have all grown these beautiful trees. Okay. That's my, I mean, are you still here? Have you unsubscribed? Do you still like me? Do you say, oh gosh, she's really weird. She overthinks things. She's weird. Whatever. I'm just too creative for myself. Okay. All right. Then, champagne. What was that about? Champagne is one of the colors that I'm using. It's kind of like that um, silvery gold Really perfect with gingerbread. I felt like goes well with gingerbread. Um, so I thought, you know, I may need something larger to fill spots if these ornaments that I have aren't enough between the ornaments and the ribbons and things. So I picked up from the Dollar Tree these kind of champagne um, poinsettias. And... What are we thinking, folks? What are we thinking? What are we th I guess we've got gingerbread by my shirt. So, tell me, what do you think? Hmm? So, I got two bundles of these, which means I have 12 flowers. Because they each have six on them. So, I'm just going to pluck off each flower and stick it down in the tray. And I got two. I'd rather have too many than too little, and they run out, and then I'm stuck. It's just me. I don't have no mans to hang my lights. I don't pay anybody to hang my lights. I do my own. And last year, I tried to make it look like a gingerbread house. I'm trying to start my decor for gingerbread out there and have it like lined with white rope lighting to look like it's icing out Yeah, well, I don't even know if I'm going to do it this year because that's a pain in the butt. So I thought maybe I'll go simple and just have Mrs. Claus's bakery have some big bowls. I also picked up this thinking maybe I could put it on the tree and do cups of hot cocoa, but I also feel like, eh, should I just stick with gingerbread? I mean, cocoa and gingerbread kind of goes together, but mm, let me know what you think. So yeah, if I did this, it would be brown, a brown mug with white whipped cream on top. That's it. It's not going to be anything fancy. It's just going to be the brown and white. Um, maybe do some white writing or yeah, something with Cricut. We'll see. Let me know. So at... Walmart, they have these very beautiful glass votives for, well, votive holder, I guess, for a, a tea light. Um, 
the smaller one I think is six dollars the larger one is 12 I mean and they're not they're not large they're you know couldn't do it but I could do it at the dollar store for a dollar 25 absolutely beautiful I just think that would be stunning with a little light in it so I picked up two of those found my other bag here's the blue Here's the other orange, yellow, whatever it's going to end up being. I got one of these last year. I picked up another one because I don't know if the pattern is the same this year as it was last year. And so I thought, you know, if they're different, that would be cool because then I could, you know, collect them each year because I need 752. <laughs> okay, I won't live that long, but you know what I mean. Here's the red. That's a horrible thing when I'm going to hang those up and let those be my lights. Alright, i got a headache. I don't feel good. I'm going to finish this up really quick. I got these because I thought I was going to put them in my tree. I don't think I'm going to put them in my tree because I don't think it's going to look right. I think it might cheapen it. We'll see. But they will again be all brown with white icing. That's it. Now I might do like light brown and dark brown, whatever. But it's it's the brown and white. I picked up two of these because I feel like I could paint them, color them, stain them, whatever, and put them in the tree. They light up. They have little lights inside. So, I thought they would be cute. Because you kind of have to have gingerbread houses. So, I just picked up... Oh, no, I picked up three. <laughs> I picked up three. I'll probably get more. We'll see. My head hurts, y'all. Um, picked up some fake snow. Um, not real sure why. But I did. I had something I was thinking. All right. A couple more bags and we're done. All right. Make that one more bag and we're done. Dollar General. I, at, at the end of the day, I didn't really need anything. I wanted to find things for my cocoa bar so I can start setting that up. Because I'm really excited to get that going after watching Paradise Point. And I uh, can't find anything I'm looking for. Nothing's out yet. Having a real hard time. Not real happy. So that will probably come next weekend. Tomorrow will probably be a craft day. Because things just aren't on the shelf yet. But Dollar General did come through. And gave me a couple of the items I was looking for. The dark chocolate. Carolines, yummy-licious, stick down into a little jar. Said jar, put them right down in there. Either that or candy canes, because this says candy, candy cane lane, which is really what my bathroom is done in but anyway nonetheless either this or candy cane sprinkles will go in here we'll see probably candy cane sprinkles and then i got my little boy something i got him some jerky strips made with real beef for a dollar and some canine carryouts beef and cheese flavor And that's it. We're done. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget, let me know down below if you want to see the crafting tomorrow and what I should do about the tree and what I should include and not include. But 
Until tomorrow, friends. I'll see you then. Bye.